Hi there, customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to look at how to use Monday.com to do finances. So for those of you who tune, are tuning in for the first time, my name is Dominic and I'm a customer experience enthusiast. And I like to talk about Zendesk a lot and how to optimize and automate business processes. So yeah, in this uh, session, in today's session, we're actually going to look at how to use Monday.com to do finances. And what better way to present how Monday.com works with this is by presenting how we did this year in 2022. So I'm going to share very private information with you um, about how we did uh, in the past year. I'm not going to give you uh, too many details, of course, but I will give you some juicy stuff that you're going to like. So stick to the end. There's plenty of juicy stuff. So what we're trying to do with this channel is to nudge customer experience a little bit further day by day, video by video, whatever we learn, we take it, we share it here and uh, we give it to you so you can learn as well. Um, so <clears throat> the way that this works is I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you um, a report of what we've done, how we've done so far this year. Well, it's the 28th today. So yeah, we're pretty, pretty, pretty damn close to finishing wrapping, uh, wrapping it up. So all good. Now, um, I use monday.com for a lot of processes. So it's great for project management. It's great for finances. It's great for sales as well. So I use it for a bunch of things. And I'm going to share, uh, starting next year, I'm going to share uh, how I do things in monday.com. We're also partners with monday.com. So uh, we're resellers of the tool. Um, and yeah, everything to help you automate as much of your business as possible because yeah we also run a business and we try to optimize and uh, and automate as much as possible as well in order to have more control it's the age where you can do that so let me share my screen and show you some of the juicy stuff uh click 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 yep here we go so you should see my screen so this is 2022. This is the dashboard that I've built out. Uh, I have a dashboard where I put all my, um, all of my things, and I put. Uh, I'm going to. I broke it up into a few pieces uh, by the services we offered, type of contracts that we have, countries that uh, we've been activating in, and sources where these things come from. And yeah, let's go. Let's uh, let's look at this. So by services offered so look at this so we offer a bunch of services around the zendesk platform we love zendesk we're zendesk partners we do that very well we're very proud of it and uh yeah we have it uh, we have it here by the services that we provide so let's look at this so we have the following services offered so 20 percent 20 per point four percent is onboarding so zendesk onboarding people coming in and saying hey i don't know how to use zendesk i want you to onboard me I need help to set it up, make sure that I get the best out of it. It's optimized and get a training for it. And I know how to use it in the future. This is the one. Uh, then we have 19.5% licensing. And this is people buying Zendesk licenses from us. So it's uh, almost 20%. Wow, pretty high. Uh, optimization. This is 19.2%. So optimization is when uh, um, our clients come to us and say, hey, uh, my Zendesk is all clogged up. And I don't know how to fix it. I am looking for workarounds to solve issues, uh, solve tickets. And I feel that uh, I'm not getting the most out of the system. I'm not using it to its maximum potential. This is 19.2%. And as you can see, it's almost as high as the onboarding. So it's uh, they're very similar. Now, consultancy is um, where people just come and say, hey, I need some, some work done. And yeah, we just go for essentially a time and material. This is, uh, I think, where consultancy fits in best to make sense. This is consultancy around the Zenith platform. I need a reports build. I need to understand the uh, agent workspace. Uh, I need to activate chat. I need to uh, clean up my uh, business rules, etc. Then 13.7% is guide customization. So work around the guide help center from Zena, so frequently asked questions bit, the customer uh, CMS from Zena, so content management system from Zena, where you keep your uh, questions and answers. 
It, this is pretty big, yeah. It's like almost 15% uh, of the work has been uh, dedicated towards customizing experiences for guides. Yeah, to make the knowledge base better. You, I, I keep talking about this on this channel a lot. If you want to game the system, you better have a good knowledge base. And then, uh, yeah, wow, this is like really low behind is app development. So people needing apps and uh, integrations with other systems. So 4.5, 4.6%. Just maintenance around. I just need you to look at my stuff. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Uh, Zenda sponsor. This is yeah, working with Zenda. Uh, health check. This is, yeah, very little. Very, very little. I think it just falls into the category of consultancy. 0.7%. It's, yeah, come in, look at my setup, tell me what I'm doing wrong. It's, it, it leans into either consultancy or optimization. This needs to be redone from my side a little bit. Now, let's look at the type of contract. This is the one that's most interesting to me, at least. Let's look at it. So, out of everything, 50% is one-off. So, one-off means that people come in and say, hey, I need your help with a project, and then I'm gone. I, I fuck off. <sighs> this is a way that businesses are operating, and I'm trying to work hard on changing people's minds on how to do that, on how they do that, because a one-off, yes, indeed, you think that you're cutting costs, but you're not really doing that very well. Why? You are setting up your Zendesk. You're getting ready for, you know, for your journey with Zendesk to make you have a productive team, cater to your customers and manage the customer customer relationship, which is great. But if you don't have somebody there for you to cater to whatever comes up, because there's always stuff that you haven't uh, gone through in a month or two months time, which these uh, one offs take, like usually they take around two months. Um, six months down the line, a year down the line, you're not going to get the most value because you have your own job and you can't focus on learning everything about Zenas. We This is our full-time job. I've been doing this for nine years myself and I'm still learning. There's still a lot to learn. So I have a full-time job doing it for nine years and I'm still learning and I don't expect you to necessarily do it very well on your own because there's a lot of information you just can't uh, you just can't fit it in with your normal schedule. It's it with, it, it's, I don't know, maybe you can, but it's very hard. Um, then, uh, so yeah, a one-off is great, but I don't recommend it. I am going to try to push, you know, this is ex uh, essentially acquisition, like new customers coming in and going, which is great. Then we have licensing, which is almost 20%. So people bought uh, about 19%, about 20% of the money that came in was from selling Zendesk licenses. You've seen that earlier a little bit. It's the same. Uh, see, is it the same? Yeah, it's the same uh, percentage. Now, let's see. Uh, time and materials. So this is 15.4%. People coming in saying, yeah, I just need some help. Uh, time and material. Like, get your time. You give me some time. Give me some hours. And then we're done. And then this is the most important one for me. Retainers. It's 14%. I'm trying to raise this at least double it for next year because with retainer, you can have you can get a lot more value. The stuff that you run across in Zenas day by day, we've already been there because we've been uh, using Zenas for so long, worked at Zendesk. So we know a lot of stuff about Zenas and workarounds for stuff that comes up. And you, you, if you, there's so many things that come up and that if you haven't hit your head in them, you don't just don't know them. You just can't find them on Google. It is quick wins that you can get by constantly meeting with a Zenesk expert that tells you you have an open discussion of what we're trying, what you're trying to do, and where you're going to get at. Uh, and you just get these quick wins. Oh yeah, did you hear about this app that uh, we've used like five years ago that does exactly what you're looking for? It will. In it was probably it will increase your power productivity by three x by three hundred percent, and you just don't know about it. You just can't find out about it because you, you know, com don't communicate very directly with somebody to help you. So yeah, I'm trying to move most of the things, not most of the things, but more of the revenue, at least double, uh, about 30% at least to retainer because there's more value that you can get. There's more accountability. If you do a one-off, you go away and then you think like, oh, I'm not 
uh, must the services probably were bad. Well, if you're not there talking to somebody with a Zendesk expert from somebody in my team on a constant basis, you're not going to get the most value. So I'm trying to move to retainer as much as possible because this is where you get most of the accountability and value. And accountability, I mean that if somebody is something is set up and is not set up correctly, then you can come and just, you know, pull our sleeve and say, hey, it's not working. And then we can look at it, fix it. And then you go, it's ready. Now you can use it. So, yeah, uh, getting very fired up with this because uh, it's very important. All right. Uh, and the other thing is countries. All right. So countries, Deutschland is number one. Germany is number one in our top. So we is like 41% of business, 0.6, of business coming from Germany. I lived in Berlin for a really long, for a long time. Uh, I only go back there for business. I don't live there anymore because I don't like the climate so much. I live in Spain right now or in Romania. Uh, but mostly I chase the climate. USA, 15%. Bulgaria, 13.8%. Romania, 12.3%. This is actually a result of uh, me starting to push and uh, attack the Zenith marketplace in Eastern Europe because I am Romanian myself. And Zenith has asked me, like, hey, do you want to you know, expand uh, your business in Eastern Europe? Because it's a bit of a blank canvas there and we need people. I said, yeah, why not? But most of the activity is in uh, is in Central Central Europe and uh, West, actually. So, yeah, let's see. Moving along, New Zealand, 4.6%. Canada, 4.5%. South Africa, 3%. Israel, 2.7%. UK, 1.7%. And then Switzerland, 0.5%. Yeah, so this, yeah, I'm going to still uh, yeah, work with my German people. I I like the, the relationship a lot because... It's, uh, yeah, they get it and they want to have optimized systems. They don't, they know how important it is to have to be well organized. And yeah, see you soon, my peeps. Um, and uh, yeah, everyone else, like USA, Bulgaria, Romania. Can't wait. Can't wait to do more great things together, bros. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Eastern European market is only starting to catch up to understanding that uh, you need to have an optimized system. It's important to change your mindset to the idea that you have to spend some money to make some money. Uh, you can't really have it any other way, to be honest. Uh, that's how mature companies do it. So we have to mature ourselves too. Okay, another important one for me is sources. So look at this. Sourced by Zendas, 26% of, of stuff is coming from Zendesk. Hmm, okay. So, meaning the Zendesk introduces us to new clients, which is great. Uh, Zendesk Marketplace, 25%. Meaning that people visit the Zendesk, uh, the partner page of, uh, of us, like Roca, on the Zendesk partner page, and they say, oh, hey, you guys look good. Let's work together. Good. Then there's YouTube. So, 20.8% of our contracts come from youtube so from you guys like where you guys are there uh so you guys are reaching out and we're working together and that's amazing and this is actually giving me a lot of boost to uh to create more content because i love it this is actually I, I i'm feeling the most comfortable is when i create content for youtube i love sharing knowledge and uh sharing knowledge usually implies that somebody will say hey i don't have enough time to watch all this this is wonderful i need your help to implement it and by all means this is our livelihood yes please so this is what i'm going to focus a lot more on on youtube next year because this is i can control right i can't control how much work zendesk gives me i can't control how much how many people visit the zendesk marketplace page of ours like uh, i can't control that but i can control youtube a little bit better Meaning that I can create content. If I can create content, I can give you value. You can, you know, you might eventually need help. And we're there to greet you because this is our livelihood and we love what we do. I, I for one, don't imagine myself seeing, doing anything else. So, yeah, there you go.
you might ask yourself, do you want somebody that does, uh, that does, uh, works on every tool or somebody that actually is dedicated, uh, is dedicated to this and only this to do it well. If I were to go to, I don't know, somebody who, if I need, for example, marketing services, I'm not going to go to somebody who's also a web developer, uh, also a butcher and maybe a jeweler. Oh, and they do some marketing like, oh, wow, cool. Yeah, I'm going to work with you. No, I want somebody who's dedicated and likes what they do. And uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> probably it's unnecessary comment. Helpanto is, yeah, greatest love. Love you, Fabian. If you're watching this, uh, is our partnerships, <laughs> working with somebody else. Uh, that sometimes sends work our way. Very grateful. Thank you. Uh, then we have referral. This means that uh, people that we've worked with and we've done a good job, they say, hey, work with these guys. And then we have someone <laughs> reach out to us and say, hey, somebody rec uh, recommended you. So there you go. Very grateful for everyone uh, recommending us. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy about that. Uh, this we can work a little bit better on and make the referral increase. And uh, I'd much want to see it in the 20%. Maybe more because we're doing a great job and I'm, in, I'm uh, introducing new processes for customer experience imp improvement next year. Uh, I've already started this year, but yeah, hopefully you get this even uh, more uh, higher percentage than it's uh, LinkedIn. Ugh, I don't like LinkedIn. I'm, I'm going to pull the plug on this one. Spent, spent a lot of money on it. Uh, didn't get too much out of it. I just don't know how to do it. Probably uh, I'm not good with it and I won't insist on it. I don't express myself as well as I do on YouTube. So I'm going to just going to focus on all my uh, energy and uh, money for ads in uh, YouTube, not on anything else. And then webinars. Yes, I'll keep doing these because people need to meet you need to, uh, you know, they need to uh, interact with you in order to trust you more. So number one reason why people don't trust you is because they don't, uh... no, sorry. <laughs> the number one reason why people don't buy from you is because they don't trust you. So this is how you increase trust. You show people, you give people value, you show your face, you answer questions and um, yeah, that's it. So yeah, this is actually, this has been it. <laughs> this is the list of uh, how we did this year. I um, I'm very proud. This, this was not easy. Uh, we've gotten in a very good place. I'm very grateful that we are where we are. Um, this has been a, a great ride. I can't wait for next year because I'm very excited because I'm going to do some things much better based on what I've learned from this and other and other things. But yeah, mostly what I've been able to gather from here, I'll be able to make better and improve on and hopefully have a better year next year yeah that's about it um i hope you enjoyed this i'll see you in the next year and yeah ciao bye